we're told that a company manufactures uh, electronic components that each must weigh from 29.5 grams to 30.5 grams. And we have to express uh, the fact that uh, this, uh, the acceptable weights, which could fall anywhere uh, between 29.5 and 30.5, would uh, satisfy an inequality. So, of course, we could just write um, um, x is greater than or equal to 29.5, less than or equal to 30.5. But we need to express it um, as, a, as an absolute value because if you look at choice C and D, C is x is greater than or equal to 29.5, that's not enough. And D is um, x is um, less than 29, so that one clearly is out. So the way to think about this, because this is a general type that comes up often, is that if we look at the midpoint here, the midpoint is 30. And any, any value that's to the right or left of the midpoint, the distance between x and 30 is x minus 30 absolute value. This is the same as 30 minus x. It doesn't matter because we're taking the absolute value. So that's the distance. And that has to be less than or equal to half because it can at most be half if it's here. So all of these values have to satisfy this condition or this. They're both equivalent. And we notice that that is indeed in the answer choice, which is A. Now you could also start with that and then try to um, use some example values and to eliminate. That certainly um, is acceptable. I mean, for example, you could say one possible value is 30.4 and you see which of the answer choices satisfy. Um, and um, if you look at B, you would plug in 30 minus 30.4. Is that greater than 0.5? This is uh, absolute value of minus 0.4, which is 0.4, is not greater than 0.5. So that's how you'd eliminate B, and then you would narrow it down to A. So to recap, the answer is A.